everyone, welcome back to the channel. And as you guys saw in yesterday's video, I went ahead and did some extra pulls for the weapon for Chen Zing. And I did actually get lucky and did get this thing before the pity. So I wanted to show you the, the difference between having a tier one version of the weapon and having a tier two version. Now this comparison is still going to show Chen Zing at level 69 because the previous videos I did for her, she was at level 69. I haven't changed the level of the weapon. Now the weapon currently is at level 60, but in the run that I'm going to show you guys, it was still at level 50. Okay. I want to stress that the weapon was still at level 50, in the compare or in, in the run that I'm going to show you, and whenever you take this weapon and you do modify it, it does get pretty astronomical because this it goes from 18% increased electrical damage to 30%. That is 12% more electrical damage. You also gain another 8% critical damage on your critical damage amplifier, which is going to bump up your critical hit damage. And then this here goes up to 35%, whereas before it was at 21%. So a huge, huge uh, attack boost for you whenever you do take a weapon to tier two. And something that the game did that I was really, really happy about in the very initial beginning of the game is that, you know, originally we had to get four copies of this weapon to max it out. And there was such a fan backlash that the devs actually decided to make it to where we only needed one more copy in order to modify the weapon, which is fantastic, guys. That is awesome that they did that i just wish they would change the actual banner itself as far as the 50 50 gotcha but i digress whenever you take this weapon to tier two and i imagine for many other weapons many other limited weapons you're going to see some pretty huge differences in your damage so i'll show you guys this one right here this is the exact same team that i used before in the comparison that i did before when i was comparing the three four star and five star weapon now i want you guys to look at the damage numbers that she does whenever this slows down, all right? So we'll look at the numbers here. Okay, now check this numbers out, right? Now you can see right there, guys. Well, let's go ahead and let it play a little bit further here. All right, we'll get another nice little crit hit. There we go. You can see that we're getting 2256 on a critical hit shot. Now, whenever the weapon was tier one, we were actually doing 1,950, all right? So we've gained about three. 100 damage per shot and on an assault rifle that is pretty astronomical it's a huge huge difference compared to the tier one weapon massive damage increase for this thing so i'm gonna let it play out and also show you guys how long it actually took to do a 3,000 point run against hello now before when the weapon was tier one this actually took me 45 seconds okay 45 seconds with the exact same team the same buffs everything all right. Now I want you to see how long it takes me with having the weapon at tier two. And you will see, guys, that there is a massive difference. You can even just look at the damage of Hella's life as fast as it's draining uh, with this thing. And as always, guys, it always comes down to your gameplay. As long as you're doing headshots, that's where you're going to do the most damage. Now let's take a look and see how long this took. Remember, 45 seconds before, what are we going to do this time, right, with having the weapon at tier two? And as you guys can see, it took... 34 seconds she did this faster by nine seconds from a tier one to a tier two weapon at tier one the weapon did 45 seconds at tier two it was 34 seconds so that is a massive increase to your damage so much so that now i feel motivated to try to go ahead and get a copy of life's weapon because life and chinzing are the two characters that i'm really focusing on as far as my damage dealers because life's weapon also increases our frost damage by another 12 percent it's pretty damn massive guys and then her standard skill damage will increase up to 36 percent which is nutty but whenever you level it up it actually will increase to 60%. Huge, huge buff gains. And I can actually do that right now because I actually do have materials in order to just outright buy the weapon. So since we're on the subject of modifying weapons, a little confusion has been happening in the community because a lot of people are asking, why is it that whenever I click on this icon, my copy of my weapon isn't showing up here? Like, how do I modify these weapons? Well, the thing is, the game automatically locks the weapons that you get from your banner so when we click on life here and we go to train you'll see that you know 
we have this particular weapon right here. And when I click on this, it doesn't show the weapon in here, even though I do have a copy of this thing. So when I go back and I click change, you'll notice that there's a copy of the weapon, but it is locked. So what you have to do, guys, is you have to go into your storage, right? You have to find the weapon that is locked, which in this case is this one right here, and make sure that you unlock it. And whenever you do unlock it, you can come back in here. You can go to whatever character has the weapon that you're trying to modify, right? We'll click on chain. We'll click on modify. Click on the icon, and there she be, and you click on. The weapons only need to be level one. The copies only need to be level one as far as modifying them and leveling up, but that's really the trick to it. The game really should have a prompt whenever you click on this icon to let you know that the copy of the weapon is locked and you need to unlock it but it doesn't let you know that so there's a little bit of confusion as far as how to modify them but that's pretty much all you have to do guys you just go in your stores just unlock the particular weapon that you're trying to modify or just unlock the copy of the weapon that you're trying to modify and you'll be good to go but the difference in damage for that weapon on chen Zing is pretty astronomical and again i'm really considering going ahead and queuing up a copy of life's weapon because of all the pulls that I've done so far in the game, I can actually queue this thing up, man. You need 480 to get a copy of the weapon. There it is, 480 of these. However, you can still use these materials for your limited banner. I actually got 45 pulls right now. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think as far as, you know, should I just save these for pulls in the future or should I go ahead and just do a copy of the weapon? I mean, I'm honestly really tempted to get a copy of the weapon because I have quite a few of these and I really do want to bump up life because she is one of my main damage dealers along with my five star Chen Sing. So guys, let me know what you think about everything that you've seen today. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. to the seven time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.